Thanks for tuning in to Showroom 18, we will be taking a look at the Fire HD 8, which is from the fifth generation of tablets by Amazon. The device was released on the 30th of September 2015, and in this video, the tablet is running Fire OS 5. Holding it this way, the Fire HD 8 is 8.4 inches in length and 5 inches in width and 0.3 in thickness. Staying on the front, we have an 8 inch touchscreen with a resolution of 1280 by 800 and a pixel density of 189. The screen and back is a fingerprint magnet, so a screen protector will come in handy. Going over to the left, we have stereo speakers with Dolby Audio. Over on the right is the slot for your micro SD card. Taking a look at the very top is the power button, micro USB port, microphone, 3.5mm jack port for headphones and volume buttons. There is nothing at the bottom, so lastly, looking at the very back is the main camera. These following specs are also the same for the Fire HD 10 version as well. The Fire HD 8 has a MediaTek quad-core, 1.5GHz processor with 1GB of RAM, there is an 8GB and 16GB model with the Fire HD 8 and a 16 or 32 version for the Fire HD 10. We have been using the 8GB model, which from first turning on has 4.47GB of internal space with a total of 5.65GB available. The 16GB version has around 116 available and both have up to 128GB of external storage through the use of a micro SD card. The other features the device has are as follows, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, accelerometer and gyroscope. What you get in the box, this is based on a UK order from the 29th of September 2015. The Fire HD 8 with a micro USB cable, the plug adapter and instructions. There is 10 sections starting from the far left. You have recent, home, books, video, games, shop, apps, music, audiobooks, and newsstands. You will notice that the search at the top suggests to search through whichever section you are on. It will say search newsstand when you are on that part and then search audiobooks. If you swipe down here, you can see some quick settings like brightness options, connectivity settings, camera and full settings. If we go back to home, which this button takes you there quicker, the Amazon apps you get is Shop Amazon, Silk Browser, App Store, Video, Kindle Books, Music, Audible, Newsstand, Photos, Games, Offers and Fire for Kids. Fire for Kids is where you can set profiles for kids to choose which apps, books and shows can be viewed by them and which are blocked. With further options to prevent in-app purchases, access to the web browser, social media and personalised screen name. You can add up to four children on the device and add another adult profile to control who has access to content purchased on the tablet. There is a camera on the front and a 5 megapixel camera on the back. There is not that many settings, you have this here to switch from and front back facing mode. Then here is your list of settings, HDR, image review, video quality which goes up to 1080p, photo ratio, best shot panorama and this. Going back to the camera screen, this is to take your photo and this will start to capture video. This in the corner is your camera roll and over here will take you to the photo app. If we take a look at the example photos, you can see there is a high level of vibrancy. I never had any issues with the white balance but some parts of the photo looks faded and slightly washed out. The other use of the front camera is if you install additional video apps such as Skype for video calls. This is the video quality of the Fire HD 8. From first powering up the tablet it takes a few minutes to power up the first time, but after that it was under a minute to load up. Swiping through the screen has never been an issue for me and the response time is fairly good. The quality of the screen is one of the plus points for the price and manages to maintain the correct colours and levels even when you tilt it to the side. This makes it much better to watch videos with others sat next to you so both can still see it. With the stereo speakers on the side, the audio is very clear and depending on what program is running, the volume goes very loud with little to no distortion. I normally use external speakers when showing clips to other people because of that static sound which makes it hard to make out what people are saying over music and background sounds. 
I was able to watch full episodes using the internal speakers with the volume set to around 70% and it was loud enough for both people in the room to hear the dialogue clearly. The games that I tested was Candy, Soda Crush Saga, Sonic CD, Real Racing and Brothers in Arms 3, going up in order of more demanding and bigger file size. Soda Crush surprisingly had a few slowdown moments and was sluggish at times, despite it being more of a lower end title. Sonic and Real Racing ran smoothly, then Brothers in Arms was lagging at the start but then was running fine. A lot of the slowdown happened mostly while downloading files and cutscenes. The Fire HD is thin and light, then with the width of the screen it works and looks great. When reading books, articles, magazines from a vertical view, for me it is easy to hold and just read this way round. When in the horizontal view, a lot of the games with on-screen gamepad work really well. There is plenty of space to control with more ease, it though does put a bit of a strain on the thumb after about 20 minutes like this. It was not that easy for me to navigate or type with it in the horizontal position based on the way I prefer to hold tablets. The battery does last a good amount of time based on what I was doing. From 94% at around 2pm I downloaded all the games I wanted to test, which took about 30 minutes of VI Wi-Fi. This is where I noticed that downloading is a bit slower here than on other tablets I have used in the past. Then I spent about 30 to 45 minutes playing through each of the games. I went through the browser, read through a few news updates, looked at a few trailers on the Prime service, I watched a few videos on YouTube and then set it to standby. The battery at this point was just under 70%. I later on watched two episodes of a show for about 40 minutes to an hour and the battery then was around 52% at 7.40pm. This was all streaming and using Wi-Fi at a brightness setting of 50%. You can extend the battery if you use a lower setting and are using offline media that is already downloaded to the device. The down point is it takes hours to charge the battery back up and it will switch on when you plug in the USB charger so turning it off to charge quicker did not work here. Starting with the positives, the quality of the audio and screen is great for the price and leans more towards users in search of a tablet for entertainment purposes. The parental options makes this good to share and use with your family on trips and travelling and the size of the screen is big enough for HD movies and the audio is loud enough for everyone in the car or room to hear. The size of the device can be a bit too big if you are using it for day to day tasks. The other down point, which to others can be seen as a plus point, is most of the services require a Prime account to really get the most out of the device. You can still rent and download movies, games and books to use offline without a Prime account. Additional charges will apply, but for the most part, a Wi-Fi connection is required to gain access to all the Amazon services built into the Fire HD 8. Thanks for watching, if you have any other questions let us know in the comments. This video is from our affordable tablets playlist, we will be adding more devices like this over time so keep checking back to our channel and check out our playlist for products you are looking for.